Yo, what's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload videos to your Instagram TV or how to export videos and size them for Instagram TV. It's really easy if you have Final Cut Pro 10 or if you have iMovie or Premiere. The settings will be very similar. Uh, of course, some of the tools and the settings will be in different locations, but for the most part, they're all very similar. The first thing you need to do is, of course, have your video into Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm going to delete this and show you how to do it from scratch. So assuming you have your video and your project property already created, it's very simple. So what you would do, of course, you would go to the top, you would go to File, New, and then do Project, okay? And then you would just leave everything how it is set to automatic because you want the video... Uh, to match the same source as you recorded. So if you filmed on an iPhone, you want the same settings that you that you recorded with on, on the iPhone to be in Final Cut Pro 10 or vice versa if you've used a DSLR camera such as a Sony, a Canon, whatever it is, you want the same resolution and the same frame rate. Okay, so just give it a name. Uh, I just did event, blah, blah, blah. So make sure that this is on use automatic settings. All right, so when you drag the video into the timeline, this is what your video is gonna look like, assuming that you've done all your edits and stuff, all of your color grading. And so once you guys are at this point, the next thing you need to do is convert it obviously to a uh, Instagram TV or a vertical video. So to do that simple, go to modify and go to the, or go to window, go to window, go to project properties or command J for the shortcut on the keyboard. Then on the right side, you're gonna have this, so click modify. And then in the video portion here, you're gonna have 1080p HD and the resolution is gonna be at 1920 20 by 1080 with the frame rate being at 2997. So this is the frame rate that the video was shot in. If you guys filmed in 60 frames, you wanna do uh, 60 frames, but honestly, Instagram is gonna pretty much compress it anyway. So just go to format and do custom and you wanna switch these two values. So instead of it being 1920, uh, wide you want it to be 1080 wide and 1920 long so you're pretty much just just switching the video around okay so then click on ok and then it's gonna look like this you can of course export it like this and you're good to go if you want everything to be shown here go to the transform tool it will look like this like a little square click on the crop tool and right now you'll have it set to trim click on crop and then move this so that the the whole portion of the clip here is that you want the person or object whatever to be in the middle of the frame the whole entire time so you also want to keep that in mind when you're filming for instagram tv so then click done and then now you're going to have full hd video uh without you know having to change a lot of the resolution and settings so you're just literally swapping over the dimensions here and this is what instagram uses by the way so when you're ready to export click this button up here and go to master file or go to file and then share and then master file give this a name i'm gonna name this test and then go to settings and then in the format you can do video and audio or you can do computer uh, please keep in mind though that you do have to make sure that the duration is 15 seconds or longer go to settings and you can do video and audio but this is going to export it as a quick time and it won't really compress the video that much if you guys don't if you guys really care about the quality of course then do it this way uh, but make sure that the video codec is at h.264 or you can go to the publishing and do computer but this will compress it a little bit unless you check uh, the better quality um, for me i mean either of the two are very identical except the only difference is the format so this one's going to be h.264 it's going to export it as an mp4 whereas the mastering video and audio it's going to export it as a quick time movie okay so i'm going to do this one just for the for the sake of the tutorial i'm going to click next i'm going to click save Alrighty guys, so this is what the video will look like once it's exported. As you can see, um, it looks really good. The quality is very good and there isn't much compressing when you export it, of course. So um, it looks pretty good. But like I said, if you want this to look good, I would suggest you guys film your subject as in the middle of the frame as possible, keeping the subject in the frame in frame pretty much. 